Hi, I'm Diana, and today we're talking about something a little bit different. This is the most important thing I will ever tell you. So maybe it's not style and fashion. There might be kittens, but this is the most important thing I could ever tell you because it really is about your aging journey and your life and it being the best possible it can be. I think it's more important than style when it comes to unblawing yourself. That's a big statement because I think that style is so important, as you know. This is something that I started doing and it has absolutely transformed my body and my abilities and how I look in clothes. And how do I know that this is working, this recent change that I've made? How do I know this is working? Because I have received random compliments from strangers, friends, and acquaintances. And I really didn't see any changes myself, but other people have seen them. Now, we don't do things to get compliments, do we? Compliments are a barometer of change. Is barometer the right word? Barometer is like air pressure. <laughs> well, okay. Compliments are a way of measuring your changes. So let's use compliments as a measurement of change. And I have received a lot of compliments lately. A random woman at the gym, she came right up to me and she said, have you lost weight? And I actually didn't even think she was talking to me. I looked behind me. It was like a sitcom. I looked behind me and I said, no, um, but I have been doing this one thing differently. And she made me divulge my secret. So that's why I thought it might be important to get on this camera and divulge my secret to you, which it shouldn't be a secret. Everyone should know this. So what is this one thing I've been doing? It's easier than you think. It's a very simple change you can make, but you must do it. You must do it now as if it's an emergency. Your aging is at stake. Your health is at stake. And it's so simple. And that is pick up heavy things and carry them. Don't turn this off. This is the broccoli of advice and you know you need to eat this broccoli and broccoli is delicious if you cook it right. And this is going to be easy if you cook it right. <laughs> That's a metaphor. So why did I start doing this? I watched a podcast or two where they stated that at 40, you should be able to carry, listen, this is gonna sound crazy and don't let it stop you from starting anything. 75% of your body weight for one minute. And I did the math and I came up with 105 pounds. I can't do that. I still can't do that. But that doesn't stop me from trying to do some of that. And whether that's half or way less, you should just start somewhere because starting is more important than reaching any sort of magical math number, math numbers, math numbers. So wake up, this is your aging journey. You only get one, this is an emergency. You can definitely start smaller than I am doing. I will show you the weights that I carry around and then how you can do this yourself without gyms and barbells. This is what I do and I am not an exercise professional. So do not follow this as a program or even advice. Because if you really don't know where to start and you really don't know what to do, maybe you should join a class at a gym where an exercise professional can show you the amount of weight that you can pick up safely and how to do that. All right, let's go to the gym. I use these large barbells. And when I first started and I wanted to determine where I could start, I just started with the lowest weight. And I worked my way up until I found that 50 was a good starting weight for me. Then I worked my way up to 60. Here I am checking the 60 to see how it feels and I felt like it was a little bit easy. So I've now worked my way up to 70 and this is what I picked up right here. And I'm going to be very careful as I walk around with this 70 pound barbell. You can see me here counting because I can't wait until this minute is over. It's very difficult to do. You should pick a weight that is actually difficult to do, not easy. We're trying to build strength. We're trying to build our longevity. So. Pick something that is challenging. My arms should be tired enough that I'm too tired to put it back. So I set it down until my arms are recovered and then I lift it up to re-rack it. Your arms should be tired out after this exercise. It's not 105, like the recommended amount for optimum health, but I'm getting there. 
Another thing you can do if you don't have barbells is you can hang from a bar to increase your grip strength. You don't have to do a pull-up, just hanging increases your grip strength. Let's talk about grip strength and how it's basically the canary in the coal mine for your aging journey. There are so many studies that show that your grip strength shows your overall health. And for most of us, this is going to be kind of like an embarrassing indicator because we can't carry much after 40. And I even saw this myself where I was less able to lift heavy couches. I was less able to carry my groceries down the street. I didn't realize that I was losing grip strength. I just thought this is a very heavy thing. <laughs> nope, it was me losing strength. And everybody loses strength and grip strength after 30. So if that's true for everyone, then why isn't it just okay if I just lose my grip strength and just let it go? It's not okay because this is going to affect your ability to turn doorknobs, open jars. These are everyday things that you may not be able to do very soon if you don't put some effort into this because you don't even need to go to the gym to do this. You do not need barbells. You do not need a weight system. You can do this with gallon jugs of water. You can do this with cans of paint. Um, if you can't even hold the gallons of water, which I'm pretty sure that most people can, you could even start with cans of food. But this is so simple. The idea is so simple. I'm pretty sure that cans of food isn't enough and you can do more than that. So let's start with gallons of water or resistance bands. But I really do think that the ability to move around with the thing you're carrying is the key. It's going to help you with your balance and your mobility and your ability to do anything in life. So you want to practice moving around with these heavy objects. You can create the weight that you need by simply adding more cans or taking some away in big, heavy plastic bags and carry them around for one minute. You can do this. Set a reminder on your phone set a timer. You know how many minutes are in one day? Let me find out because I don't know. Hmm, Google, there are 1,440 minutes in a day. If you had $1,440, would you care about giving $1 to your friend? $1, one minute to increase your grip strength and your overall health and in decrease your risk of dementia and all sorts of diseases later on in your life. One minute. So easy. If you want to actually like see results, and I know you do, because of course it's nice to do these things for our health, but we love to see results, don't we? So if you really want to see results, I don't know, pick it up one minute in the morning. Pick up your weight one minute at noon. Pick up your weight while you're waiting for your water to boil or your coffee to make. Pick up your weight at night before you go to bed. Pick up your weight during a commercial break. Pick up your weight while you're waiting for your son to put on his shoes because you know boys can never seem to put on their shoes. And imagine if you had trouble opening jars and doorknobs when you're older, how that creates so many limitations and dependencies in your life. And not only that, it can create safety hazards for you. So picking up bags and carrying them around for one minute a day is a pretty good trade-off for having better health as you age. I will not show you a before and after picture because there is no before picture because I didn't think it would make this radical of a change. This is so loud, guys. Kittens. I did not take a before picture because I didn't think it would make that radical of a change in my arms. And you know what? My arms were thin to begin with, and thin is not the goal, actually. Strong is the goal. You will never bulk up from this kind of weightlifting. I don't know where you heard that a long time ago, but you know you did. You cannot bulk up from weightlifting as a woman unless you are really, really going for it. And we're not really going for it here. So... That's it. Pick up the heavy thing one to three times a day. Fill that Ikea bag with a bunch of canned goods. Fill it with gallons of water. You can do this. Increase that, increase that grip strength. Increase your ability to age successfully. Increase your ability to age healthfully. You will feel better. You will 
age better. You will look better. It's a win-win situation. And honestly, do you want to depend on someone to open your doorknob for you? No. <clears throat> Kittens, what's in my Ikea bag? Hmm, would you like to see? Who's in here? Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see what's happening here. Oh, hello. I'm not advocating for putting your kittens in Ikea bag. She put herself in there. But I'm saying lift anything you can in your heavy grocery bags, and you will never, ever regret committing to that for yourself and for your aging. So back to fashion, back to beauty next time. I hope that you take this seriously as an emergency and get to it. Please leave a comment for me if you're going to try this. Set a reminder on your phone. Tell me how you have succeeded or failed at this task. It doesn't matter. We're all just riding around on this rock in outer space, right? Okay. Nothing is a huge deal. We can pick up grocery bags. Okay. See you next time.